Hey there, it's Zero at 7 o'clock on the Get Up and Go Show. Here's Mike Poirier with your Life 100.3 News, brought to you by Wallman Electric. Good morning. Ontario's publicly funded schools will remain closed until the end of May. Education Minister Stephen Lecce has announced that schools won't reopen until May 31st due to COVID-19. Good morning, everybody. It's health. Steve Bradley, and, and I am here with your morning devotional. Let me just turn this down. I'm in the studio at Life 100.3. Todd Gale is away, so I don't have a vacation day today. So I just wanted to let you know, Pastor Jen is off again. Where's the camera? I'm looking over here, but the camera's over here. So I've got to get ready for another top hour right now. But what I did was I downloaded a video just a few minutes ago for, with your devotional. And I want you to comment like, like it's live. Comment like it's live. Say good morning. Tell everybody hello. Put some emojis. Put some wavy emojis on there. Hey, good morning all. Sue and Paul, good morning. Good morning. Who else is here? Why don't we give a little shout out? Here we go. Good morning, Carol. So just as I was just saying, your morning devotion is on the video. It's not a live Devo because I'm here in studio. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing the studio at all, but here it is. We're going to jump back on air in just a few minutes. So uh, Pastor Jen is off. So I hope you have your morning coffee. I hope you are ready to go. My Devo is about increase today, and it's on the video just below. And so I have a minute 38 before I have to jump on air again. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Donna. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Al. Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? I've posted the Devo just below this. I should have just done it live. I could have done this, couldn't I? I could have done a Devo, couldn't I? It certainly would have kept me on time. So Pastor Jen is off today. And so I posted your Devo just below because I wasn't, I was afraid I wouldn't have enough time and I'd be too chatty. I can be too chatty sometimes. So here we go. Scott Jackson's coming in on the morning show with me. Mike Poirier's here. Todd Gale is off. He's, he's taking holidays. I don't know what you do on holidays when you have COVID running around, but he's going to take some time off. And we have 37 seconds. So let me see. I don't know if I can pop this up so you guys can see what it looks like. There, there. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Suzanne. So just hang on, we got 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Sports, professional sports teams will be allowed to start hosting practices in Italy as of May 18th. We've got another the commercial coming up. Good morning, Kimberly. The How was your weekend, everyone? Action in June. Fans. Oh, There's a the volume is low. Let me see if I can fix that. I don't know if that worked or not. Verna, good morning. Good morning, church family. Interact with one another right now while I do a little work. Seven oh five. Your life traffic update is presented by the Mortgage Center. Customer focus, the experience delivered. Visit the Mortgage Center in Orangeville or OntarioLenders.com. It's a pretty good commute along the four hundred and the four hundred four. It's also a decent drive along Highway twenty six, Highway six, and Tenerife looking all right. Thirty five one fifteen is moving well, and no delays to deal with along Highway eleven. Central Ontario weather. We'll see a mix of sun and cloud today. Slight chance of showers for this afternoon and a high of thirteen. Tonight, mainly cloudy, chance of showers, low of 4, and tomorrow, showers and a high of 8. Even with sound, it's minus 3, 1 degree in Huntsville, Newmarket sitting at 1, 6 degrees in Peterborough, and Barry at 0. I'm Mike Poirier, Lily from Member Doctor News Center, and now you're up to date. <laughs> Hey there, happy Monday morning to you. Todd Gale is off, and so the president, Scott Jackson, is going to join the morning show, and I think he wants to talk about dogs, Michael. He always wants to talk about dogs. He does. 
Anything else you think you can get out of them? Just... That was fantastic. Well, good morning. Thank you, Carol, for saying this is cool. This is a little bit different. So if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Steve Bradley, and Jen is off today, so I told her I would do a video, a uh, devotional video for you, and it is, this music is very, very distracting, and it is just below this live feed, so when you uh, log off the live feed, you're going to find a devotion there, and we're talking about increase this morning, and I was really feeling, I could have just done this live, I should have done it live. I was really feeling in my heart, I just wanted to talk about something positive this morning and um, just talk about how the church is actually seeing a lot of increase right now because we've moved to online. And, and how are we going to respond to that? How are we going to welcome people to church? Um, are, there's two ways that we can welcome them. And I, I picked out the verses from uh, the, the parable of the lost son, um, the prodigal son, and just as the father accepted uh, the, the son with open arms, even though he, he wanted his inheritance, which is like saying, I, I kind of wish you were dead. Um, I, I just want my money. And he goes off, he, he, he lives a wild life and runs out of money and spends it all, ends up eating with the pigs. And, and then he ends up coming back home. And the father, as he sees him coming, coming, he runs to him. And he welcomes him with open arms. And that picture of the father running and opening with welcome arms, I just think is a beautiful picture. But the brother is like, hey, I've been faithful here the whole time. I have been faithful to you. And where's my party? You know, you're not doing anything for me. And so there's this tension of how do we welcome people back? And, and so I think we are seeing a massive, massive increase in, in the church today because of this pandemic and because we've moved online and God is using this and we've always been praying for a revival and I think God has brought revival. I think revival is here and so how are we going to respond and how are we going to welcome people? And so that's, I think I just gave you the devotion but there's a little bit more in the video below. I want to say good morning Jennifer. Hi guys, thank you so much. Keep interacting with one another. Um, it's so good to see you all. It's so good to be here on Monday morning with you. Um, this is the Life 100.3 studio. I don't know if you want to see it. Take a little peek. There, we go. there it is. So Todd Gale is off today. Steve Jones is here. Mike Poirier is here. We got the news up there so we can kind of keep up the date with everything that's going on. So I hope you all are doing well. Head to the video below, comment, say hello to one another, leave your favorite emoji, okay? Can you go down to the video below and leave your favorite emoji? And let me just, how much time do I got? About 30 seconds. So Lord, be with everybody at Barry Free Methodist Church. We thank you for them. We thank you for Pastor Jen. Give her a full day of rest. We love you and we honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. I dropped you all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's 7.09, 5.13, sunny this morning. Get out there and enjoy it safely. Here's Brit Nicole through your eyes on Life 100.3. So, good morning, everyone. Go have. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Have a great day, Carol. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, Jen and Carol. Who else do we got online here? Good morning. Good morning. Kimberly, good morning. Suzanne, I think we already said good morning. Donna, good morning. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I hope this was okay to do your Devo like this, to so drop the video below and just kind of bring you live to the studio like this. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll continue to pray for all of you and all of your needs. Love you guys, and we will see you soon.